Hey guys, so it is actually Thursday evening. Um, it's about to be, it's like 7.45 and I am, all right, you guys can go, yeah. It is almost eight o'clock and I, oh gosh, this little kid just fell. It's almost eight o'clock, excuse my potato face because I just worked out like really fast for like 30 minutes only. I did like 20 minutes of cardio and then I did like 10 minutes of of weights and I just got like a random like weight um like workout off of Pinterest like, into like my healthy lifestyle ever since after whole 30 I'm really trying to lose more weight and I so I haven't like weighed myself again after whole 30 but I know that I've lost more weight I just like um I don't want to like get discouraged because I also like I tend to hold on to a lot of water weight and like especially on my period which I'm on right now like I get really bloated and hold on to so much water weight so I've been doing cardio every single day this week um but I know I really need to add weights back into my routine and back like and do strength strength training again so I was talking to my mom and we really want to go back to Pilates and so I think that I want to start that next week and do um, like reformer Pilates, which I really like. I really enjoy doing that. And I always have really liked the results of reformer Pilates. And so I think that mix with cardio will be a good mix for me, especially since I'm like eating very, very healthy and like eating super clean and whole, whole foods only. Um, and yeah, so that seems to have been working for me lately. I feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about camera right now. It's a Thursday and chatting with you guys because I feel like I've been talking to a lot of you guys through like Instagram stories and all of that. And I've been really liking that and like communi communicating with you guys there. So in case you don't follow me on Makeup by Pamela Ira, you can follow me on there. And I always like respond. And um, if you guys have any questions like about Whole30 or anything like that or just about life in general, I've been doing a bunch of like Nordstrom sale posts on there and I am going to be probably doing another video of the Nordstrom sales. I'm also going to be doing a water challenge I think this whole um, next two weeks just something to do and drink like more water than I've ever drank in my entire life. I I drink a lot of water like I uh, I know it's not like particularly good and especially since I'm on this like like more sustainable like organic um, prone lifestyle uh, I still like can't give up bottled water you can see by this aquafina in my hand and it just makes drinking water for me a lot easier at night i just use i have like filtered water through my refrigerator and so at night i tend to just use that i've been really scatterbrained in this video so far so hopefully you guys are fine with that um so yeah i don't know i just can't give up like bottled water i just can't it's something that I really enjoy and obviously I recycle all of the bottles I have a like, recycling in my apartment so I recycle my bottles and you should too in case you do drink bottled water pretty busy work has been busy as per usual uh, but I did want to say like thank you so 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 much to all of you guys for many reasons because you guys were so sweet a on my birthday uh, you know writing comments on my Instagram and messaging me and then everyone has written really nice comments and just I don't know I really like that we have such like a like kind of like a I, I feel like all of you guys are my friends and I know like I've said that before and it might sound like silly to some of you but I don't have like a huge YouTube channel so for me I recognize all the people that comment all the time and it like really brings a smile to my face and it really means a lot to me like every time that you guys comment I know for me I'm really bad about commenting because I watch a lot of my videos at the gym or like in the background and I like pay attention but I'm not like on I don't I like need to be better to make it a point to comment because I know that like you, when you guys comment on my videos it makes my day so you guys were so sweet on that and then I also in case you guys missed it posted my like complete whole 30 recap and experience and um, everything from beginning to end to like what I'm doing now so in case you guys have missed those videos I'll link that down below um, but another thing on like a, a more sad note um, we did uh, oh my gosh I can't even talk about it I'm like not okay like I haven't um, really dealt with it yet because I like wasn't home I couldn't go home because we had a really big work event last week um, we had like our annual radiothon for uh, the ch local children's hospital here in Charlotte but Chloe got really sick like really fast um, she's been sick this year with some kidney issues 
and um, you guys know her obviously from my videos and we Natalie and I used to take care of her in her old apartment but then my parents have taken her since she's become more frail and getting more frequent seizures we couldn't really take on the responsibility because Natalie has a dog now and then I cannot have a dog because of my crazy uh, travel schedule so oh my gosh so Chloe got was like put into the hospital like the Monday after my birthday weekend and she, it seemed that she was just dehydrated and that she was gonna be fine and it, the doctor found out that she had a tumor and she was not able to pee or eat on her own anymore so unfortunately um, I mean we made the, the correct decision in having to put her down um, it's never it, we've lost all of our pets now um, I mean that our family pets and we always knew that Chloe would be the hardest because she was <sighs> she meant so much to our family <laughs> oh, it's so hard still because I I miss her a lot but I know that she was in pain and she was sick and oh, it's just really rough she was just like all of ours like little baby like even though she was old like we all still thought of her as a baby because she's like so she was so tiny and left such sweet and kind comments on my video and or on my video on my Instagram um I posted that on like my my other Instagram not my makeup by Pamela Ira just my Instagram like Pamela I Sanchez that most of you guys I think follow me on there too um so I posted a bunch of pictures of Chloe and Oh, I miss her so much, but I know it, it literally has been a week today, so it's just it's just always a process um, in grieving, especially a dog because they I don't know it just they're like constantly there, so you just miss their companionship, and I think that's where my my parents um, are like taking it a lot harder than my sisters and I but I'm having dinner with my friend Stephanie sorry I just bawled but I had to I had to let it out again I just have been crying non-stop for a week hello guys so I am masking at the moment um, I'm gonna take a shower so I like went straight from working out to dinner with my friend which I usually don't like to do because I like to shower and all that but she was coming from a workout class too so it ended up I just said work so many times it ended up working out the fact that we both worked out so we both were casual and we had the most amazing dinner I forgot to vlog it like I meant to show you guys what I ate but it was my one of my favorite Mediterranean restaurants here in Charlotte it's called I believe it now it's called something else like grill the the, the kebab grill it used to be kebab grill but now it's something else I can't remember what it's called now but it's on East Boulevard and it has the best Mediterranean food. It's like uh, very authentic and you can find really yummy and healthy, del like delicious options. So I was happy to eat there. And my, my friend Stephanie is like seven months pregnant and she looks amazing. And I'm so excited and happy for her. I actually met her through blogging um, when I used to have a blog and she used to have a blog and we um, met at a fashion show here in Charlotte, but she's become one of like my closest friends and is in like, a, like my friendship like circle that I have here in town so but I, I just love I love her so much and I love like spending one-on-one -on -one time with her so we try to get dinner like you know pretty often and do whatever we have really similar tastes in food and uh, like what we like to do so we're gonna go to the movies next week and I was like I'll be your sober partner like I'm trying like to really like not drink at all like during the week so um, I was like I'll, I'll be lemon water tonight and it's so funny because we both watch KGMTL and so we were like talking about her. I'm like, I want to emulate everything that KG does. <laughs> Just like me too. Um, but yeah, so we had fun. I'm masking. Let me show you guys the mask that I use. I literally just put that away and then I'll show. Uh, this is the SkinCeuticals Clarifying Clay Mask, the deep, deep pore cleansing skin refining mask. I really do enjoy this mask. Um, I got, when I got that facial done at the Ritz, she said, you know, just for you, since I don't really have like a lot of problem areas, like 
just I have some like dots there so my hormonal stuff and pores really just form in my t-zone so she was like make sure you're not putting it like all over your face because that's going to really dry out your skin um so my skin has just been really really good um since whole 30 you know knock on wood I had a little bit of breakouts last weekend because of like um oh, hopefully everyone's okay I had a little bit of breakouts because I like like a unhealthy on my birthday weekend so my skin kind of freaked out and I know it's linked to dairy and gluten which sucks so um, but it's okay I mean I'm living that life and loving it and feel really good so I know it's really annoying when people talk about their lifestyle changes or whatever but hey it's what my life is about right now I would show you guys uh, my night routine after so I always shower at night and then I do like a quick shower like body shower in the morning so I do kind of both usually every day just because I love feeling clean and like just fresh and I feel like I need to shower at night and shower in the mornings that's just what I do usually every day unless like I'm on like a trip or something and like I I don't have enough time but like usually that's what I do so I wanted to show you guys what I do after the shower and all of that so I'm gonna take the time to myself and shower, listen to some music, and then I will show you guys like all of like my skincare that I'm gonna use for tonight. First time. Thank you. So if you ever wondered what my nightly routine consisted of, it's blasting Wicked, or Hamilton, or Les Mis, or Legally Blonde the soundtrack musical, or um, Cinderella on Broadway, or West Side Story. <laughs> so yeah, that is my typical night. No, I'm just kidding. I sing in the shower a lot because I love to sing. Um, I just applied the Rose Floral Toner from Fresh. Um, my cheeks look a little red. I believe it's from the mask that I put on. So I'm gonna use a lot of like kind of more gentle products tonight but usually when I don't mask I will use the drunk elephant TLC which I really like however I think it's a little too much because I did that intense mask so I'm going to do the Dr. Sabah serum repair hyaluronic acid serum it's an amazing serum and I love using this I use it once a day either day or night it doesn't really make a difference with the hyaluronic serum um, because it's a very moisturizing serum and it feels so good on the skin it does however kind of tighten your skin it feels really moisturizing when you put it on and then it kind of like sucks your skin up but it feels really good and it provides like a really nice layer for your skin so I'm gonna let that sink a little bit and then just work my um, work my hair a little bit <laughs> So I applied the Restore Perfecting Spray by Living Proof, and please ignore my nails, I'm getting them done tomorrow. I'm gonna apply the Fresh Sugar Lychee Body Lotion on my body. Um, all my makeup is off, I took that off in the shower. And then for what I put in my hair, I do have a keratin treatment. I don't really need to use as much as this as I used to, but it's the BB Repair Blow Dry for dry or damaged hair. And it's by Bumble and Bumble. And I just do a little kind of squirt in my hand like that. And then I also use the Living Proof Nourishing Oil. I feel like I never talk about hair or like anything like that anymore. But I need to. Ugh, I don't know. Something's wrong with this top. That's the only bad thing about this hair product. So I just kind of like apply it like from here down because that's really where my damage is um i don't really have that much damage just because i did the balayage not too long ago but that's pretty much the only thing and heat that that does that does damage my hair but i'm just really um adamant about using heat protectors like air dry um for as much as i can and then sometimes i just put it up in a bun really to be honest and then just style it the next day the keratin it'll just will dry mostly like straightish so I've let the hyaluronic acid kind of like sit in and sink into my skin and I'm using my favorite night cream ever it's the it confidence in an eye cream it's super well priced guys and it's so good like it brightens it has that kind of like brightening kind of like color to it. it's like pink and I just take it and apply it all over my eye and I will bring it up a little bit up here too 
eye cream is so important like I know so many of like girls my age and friends my age that don't use any night cream or eye cream or serum and I'm like oh my god like it's so easy it's something so easy you can do and implement into your skincare that's going to like help you look younger I mean who doesn't want that no one wants like premature wrinkles sunscreen too so it instantly kind of like lifts your eyes and just like moisturizes it's so moisturizing um brightens repairs transforms it's just really really great and I haven't noticed any like um, milia or whatever that forms sometimes with eye cream so I kind of switch between two oils either the caudalie detox one or the clarins um, Blue Orchid. I do still have Luna. Um, to be honest, I don't reach for it as much anymore. I, I mean, I do like this product and it's something that I'm going to use up. Uh, however, I do feel like I reach for those more and they're less expensive. Um, so I think I'm going to do the Caudalie Detox because I haven't done this one in a while. And I'll show you guys how I apply it. You can, you can apply this first and then your moisturizer or you can mix this in with your moisturizer. I I'll kind of like, I'm applying it right now, like this first. The Caudalie Detox Night Oil like smells like the earth. Like I don't know what, what else to say. It smells like it's an acquired scent, but it smells really good to me now. Same with Luna. Like at first I hated that, that the scent, and now I like love that scent. It's kind of comforting. So you just kind of want to press in the oil again, like how I was saying about um, the eye cream, like you don't want to like do anything like too harsh on your skin and like pressing it in like this is really going to like make your skin in the morning look so plump and bright and like moisturized. And I bring down to my neck too, even though this is not like the eye, the, the actual night cream and it's just hair oil so, or I mean it's just face oil so you can obviously use it in your hair. So. I rub the rest in my hair usually even if it's dry I'll like rub it in on the ends of my hair so I love this Caudalie night oil I haven't talked about this, this is the Aven my cellar lotion I really love this I've repurchased this instead of Bioderma some people might think the scent is too much mmm I love it it's kind of like a rose scent here so bye I have like this much left night cream I kind of interchange this it confidence in a cream and I use this in the mornings as well just depending on how my skin is feeling uh, this is so great and such an amazing moisturizer I love it I love 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 the confidence in a cream both the eye cream and the day cream or night cream they're amazing and I'm going to talk about these in a July favorite favorite lip balm is the by Terry balm de rose I use the Dior creme de rose for years guys like if you guys have been watching me for a while you know I talked a lot about that for years and I moisturize my lips every single night. I have a few that I like. I like this one. I like the First Aid Beauty one. I love the Dior one. I don't have that one right now, but it's one that I probably will repurchase because this one is so expensive. Uh, I've never tried the La Mer and I've never tried the Chanel. I've tried the, like, the Chanel one that comes in a stick, but not the one that comes in like a little pot like that. I, for one, am a sucker for packaging. I think this is so cute and I just, I don't know, I love um, like chic and like like fancy looking packaging like this i don't know i really like it that's what i also really like about this amore pacific eye gel use this more so in the morning use tonight is this dior capture total night cream uh i love this it's amazing um but i don't know like this is probably one i don't know how much this is it's like i believe this is 150 and this is 45 or 50 so it's like one third of the price basically and you can always get these when Ulta has sales um, Dior is really hard to find on sale unless you got it during like a Sephora VIB or something like that so I love this um, a little goes a long way I find it to be a, like a complete luxury and treat so as you can tell I have been using a lot of it uh, I got this in December so I know I need to kind of use it up because it's a 12 month situation so really my the most important thing I do is my neck and then I just do this. This is something my mom taught me when I was so young and I do it every night. You don't want your neck to fall. That's the first thing that falls. Night routine. I just like apply it on my, like, my legs and stuff. My night routine is something that is so important to me and it is something that 
I like need to do every night whenever I'm like I don't know if I'm like had a few too many cocktails and don't do it properly I feel so like blah the next day my skin doesn't look the same um, all of that and then I like to drink a lot of water before bed too I love a lot of moisturizers I love this fresh one I really like this one that I've been using by philosophy amazing grace um, it's a beautiful body butter it smells so good I'm gonna finish this probably and you have to moisturize your body too it's not just your face hey guys so I'm probably going to call it a night um, I'm like clean cleaning obsessed so I clean my kitchen and bathroom every single night I'll have a great night and tomorrow I guess I'll officially begin the weekend vlog good morning guys so I just wanted to like show you a little bit of my morning routine because I showed you my night routine um, so I need to do my hair because I slept on it wet yesterday and oh, did I not turn this on? So I already made, um, I had lemon water first and then I made a bulletproof coffee. I don't know if you can see, but I have, I've been making it the same way that I showed in like my previous weekend vlog, not my 30th birthday one, but my previous one. So I'll show that. I'll link that down below. I've been losing more weight doing the bulletproof coffee in the mornings um, and then like not eating until lunch. So it's kind of like I'm kind of doing intermittent fasting not fully I know a lot of that that's more like the keto diet um, but I usually will just have this and then I won't eat until like um, 12 or 1 o'clock um, and then like have dinner as well so this um, just important to know I do have protein and I have the vital proteins in here so that I think is what helps keep you full because the original Bulletproof coffee recipe does not have like a protein powder in it or whatever, but this is the Vettel Proteins Collagen Peptides and it's so good. You don't taste anything, um, but I have felt that like just my skin's been perfect. Um, you know, I still have been sticking to like the Whole30 diet, so that helps too. Um, my hair, everything has like been going well so far with the Bulletproof coffee. Basically, uh, I'm just going to apply this fresh floral toner again, let that kind of sink in. So. Last night I used that hyaluronic acid, but now I'm using my baby, the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Serum. I'm running really low on this bit, on this bad boy. Um, so it's like my favorite serum. It's vitamin C. This serum has like changed my skin like forever. I swear guys, it's so good. This is the Kate Somerville um, Deep Puffing Eye Gel. I love this, the Goat Milk Deep Puffing Eye Balm. And then I will layer that first and then I do the La Mer Illuminating Eye Gel. Love this so much. I'm running really low on it, um, but oh, it helps so much. Like my eyes, I feel like are what looks most tired in the mornings. So that helps. Uh, the Kate Somerville anti back is a really good one if you have spots. Um, I'm doing good, so I don't need that today. But if I do have some hormonal things, this takes it away in like a couple of days. So it's amazing. And my favorite moisturizer is the B Hydra Intensive Gel by Drunk Elephant. So I love that. And then I just take that and apply that all over the skin. And it leaves your skin feeling really moisturized. And hydrated. And then I am going to take a little bit of the It Confidence in a Cream and just do the neck. I feel like I need to speed up this process because um, I have to go to work. I'm going to be returning two things from the Nordstrom sale. Um, and I think I thought I would stop by there later um, after work today. And I want to show you guys what I'm returning. I'm returning this halogen poncho. Um, it's like a really popular color because I don't know. I felt really like balloonish in it. I think if you're really petite and like have no boobs, it would look really good on you. But for me, it looked like really like high on the huge balloon. Um, so I'm thinking about getting a wrap instead of that because I do like the color. And then I am returning these one state booties. I talked about them on Instagram, but. Um, I really, they didn't really look good on me, so these types of goodies. And so I'm really hoping I can find some other types of like shorter like booties that I can wear to work and I can wear 
um, I wanted to kind of wear them with like dresses and shorts and stuff like that um, and not necessarily because all of mine are like really high booties so I'm gonna take this so I can return that so it is lunchtime and I just picked up a salad at one of my favorite places uh, Dean and DeLuca so I don't know if, if you guys have that where you live I don't think that they're everywhere like I don't know why we randomly have it in Charlotte because I know it's mostly like San Francisco and New York uh, but there's a you can find something similar to that like wherever you live probably and I get that a lot for lunch when I don't have a lot of time or I don't want to go home or like I don't I don't have like leftovers from the night before I don't have time to cook or whatever and I get like a big fresh green salad with lots of veggies and protein like they have a grilled salmon there and it's really really good it doesn't have any like butter or anything on it um, and I believe it's just like a poached salmon actually so it's not very flavorful but it gets the job done and I carry like my coconut aminos with me so that's what I use a lot of times for dressing um, so that way you're even consuming less calories because it doesn't have any like oil in it or whatever so tomorrow is Sam Hunt I'm so excited I've been like listening to his music all day uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys like country music I'm not like a huge like like oh my god I love all country music I like more like mainstream country like I have really basic music taste guys like I really enjoy music uh, I would say like the only not basic things that I listen to is like Broadway and like even that I listen to like the basic Broadway shows <laughs> like Sam Hunt I've like liked him for a couple of years now and it's just a fun thing to do uh, in the south especially like country concerts are like huge and um I don't know it's just like a time to like get your friends together and hang out we all got like general admission tickets so like not expensive and I'm very much looking forward to it I think it's gonna be like a really really fun time I think after work I'm actually gonna head to Nordstrom to go and return those things that I showed you guys and see what else I I want to look at some like short booties if not I'll order them online and then see if they have that like another cashmere wrap as opposed to like the cashmere poncho and I'll take you guys along and up you, update you guys there but for now I have a lot of work to finish up before the weekend and I'll talk to you guys later it's totally about to pour 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 so I'm totally like a nerd I don't know what to call myself like a weather enthusiast My sister and I have this app it's called like the radar app you pay like three dollars for it but it's like you keep it forever and it will like tell you whenever there's like a thunderstorm or like anything like around your area that like could affect you and then it tells you like the pattern where the weather is moving and shifting or if like you're gonna like plan a drive somewhere you look at a little avoid it because you can see if it's like going towards the area where you're gonna be driving look at this the lightning gets so bright and crazy it's really scary All right guys, so I'm home um, and as soon as I got home, I realized that there was like a huge like water leak right here. Um, here, let me turn you guys around. So I just had someone come and clean it, but basically when I've had this happen a few times, so when there's like a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, this railing down there is like not properly installed. So I have water go like everywhere all down there so I had a guy for maintenance come and um, look at it and he said that he, he'll come and replace the railings on Monday so now I'm gonna go to Nordstrom and I'll take you guys along Thank you. 
All right, guys, dinner is served, and I'm so excited. I had pre-made um, chicken from yesterday that I made during lunch, and then I have a scoop of hummus, a scoop of tahini, some olives, and then roasted cauliflower. I believe I've shown this on my channel before, but if not, let me know if you want like a direct um, how I make my balsamic roasted cauliflower, and I'm happy to share that. I'm so excited to eat and have a chill night. I've been just running around like crazy lately. Hello guys, so it's Saturday and I've been having such a slow start to the day, uh, but I made some eggs and coffee. Um, and these, I'll show this to you guys later. These are like these um, quinoa, um, like little rice stacker things and they're really good if you don't wanna have like bread or toast or whatever. Um, they're gluten free. Uh, they're really, really good. Guys, I am being such a hot mess right now. Uh, okay, just watching my fave, Charles Gross. I'm all ready for the Sam Hunt concert. Sorry, my hair is. I did it like with like a wand, and I haven't done that in so long, and it's so curly. And I I use the Way Memory Mist that I got yesterday. I don't even know if I showed that, but hopefully this will last because my hair has been having such a hard time, like lasting with the keratin treatment like my curls won't last having some kombucha this is the trilogy i believe yeah i like this one it's kind of like a few different flavors reminds me of like the gingerade um and it's pretty low in sugars too so i was like at first not even looking at the sugars and then i saw kg mtl talk about like how we should get the ones low in sugar so i've been doing that um, so that one's not bad, and then I love the gingerade. So I'm having some kombucha. Um, I had like a headache this morning from like drinking two glasses of wine last night. I don't know, I'm still like not drinking at all during the week, and then just, I don't know, I had two glasses of wine last night. Nothing crazy, nothing wild, and I had a like migraine this morning. So I really like how I did my makeup. Uh, I was FaceTiming with uh, my best friend Jimmy, so that's why I didn't like share with you guys. I used the new Hourglass foundation that I just purchased yesterday it is in the color buff and it like worked out perfectly because they didn't have like any shades in stock except a few ones so i got that this pout mud thing um from glam glow and i didn't have time to get my nails done so i used that i don't know if i've talked about this before this is the clinique um intense sassafras 01 liner and i really love this it like is the I don't know. I feel like I like this even more than Pillow Talk, and that's a lot for me to say, guys, because I love Pillow Talk. And I'm going to use NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Stripped. And I love this color. It's a little light, so... Perfect. So pale right now too. I'm wearing some bobble bar earrings. I feel like I just need like more bronzer or something. Where's my bronzer? Brush? I don't know if you like. I don't know. I feel really pale. Does that help? I don't know. My shoes on, and I'm excited to go to Sam Hunt. And um, Marin Morris is opening up for him. And I haven't been to a concert in so long. I think. Actually, the last concert I went to was there at PNC. I know what I saw was Florida Georgia Line, and they were also really good. I saw them, I guess it was like a couple years ago too, like not last summer, but the summer before. It's just last summer, I mean, everything's gone by so fast. It's, or maybe last spring, I don't remember. I really can't remember the last time I went to a concert. I'm gonna take my Uchi Soho Disco, because it's, so lightweight it literally feels like a feather oh this is what i'm wearing my hair is a mess so this is a romper by show me your moo moo i got it last year for mexico um and i'll probably rewear it again when we go we're actually going in september i'm so excited and it kind of gives me another goal for like continuing with the healthy lifestyle Bubble bar earrings, so show me your moo moo, Gucci, Soho Disco. I love this bag so much. And then I got these shoes in España, so I can't link them, but there's so many things right now that are out like these. Um, Steve Madden, uh, Mark Fisher, 
bunch of stuff like that. I just really like these. They're really cute. So that is what I am wearing. I'm thinking I'm going to take some sunglasses because I think I need them. Just like smoking, just yeah, I always break that promise. If I'm honest, it ain't ever just one. Be sure over the last day, I'll take the furniture. yesterday I literally did nothing I was like resting all day I really needed one of those days I've had two crazy weekends in a row um, my birthday and then last weekend with my friends here and then I had a concert and everything and we didn't get back till really late there was such an issue like getting back home in an uber we ended up taking a cab and then oh god it was such a mess but I wanted to show you guys my outfit so this is a sweater from Madewell that I got recently it's super cute. It's like just, I don't know, something you can throw on, um, kind of like crochet-ish material. I'm wearing the black uh, Caslon tee from Nordstrom. And then I did get these pants at Loft on Friday. Um, I haven't been able to film a haul, but I will today. And I'll um, maybe include these. They're just like the super skinny ones from Loft, the Mark Fisher, and then my favorite little thing, I got this on Friday also. So I exchanged what my sisters got me for my birthday, the clutch, for this beautiful, gorgeous leather handbag from All Saints. It is part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, guys. It is buttery, buttery, soft, smooth, gorgeous, high quality. Um, it fits so much. It fits laptop. Um, if it's laptop, if it's a laptop, um, you can kind of carry it here or you can carry it um, underneath your arm as well. So I love this so much. It's going to be perfect for traveling and then I can totally use this at school next year. I just love this bag. I'm really glad I got it. So that is what I'm wearing. Oh, it is lunch time and I just got my nails done quickly. Um, really pretty. I got SC Buy Me Another. 
And the girl and I were like, buy me another what? Yeah, bring me another. Bring me another or get me another. So that's what my nails are. I've been pushing off getting my nails for forever. Like, I am always really good about doing them every two weeks because I do gel. But I just, like, was supposed to come yesterday and I never did. Hello, guys. So that was pretty, like, energetic. Um, I have two bags of Trader Joe's and I thought... I would show you guys what I got and also show you guys what I got in a little Sephora bag too, uh, just so I can show you guys ideas of what I get, well, ignore the Sephora thing, <laughs> show you guys an idea of like what I get at Trader Joe's and then tonight I'll go and get um, salmon, shrimp, and chicken at Whole Foods because I like to buy all like my meats there and I'll get a few other things at Whole Foods too but Trader Joe's is where I stock up on a lot of like my organic produce and snacks and stuff like that. So I got some baby spinach because I've been craving spinach lately, like making that with like a little bit of olive oil and garlic. That's really good. Uh, I got more lettuce. I got the organic baby lettuce. That was organic spinach. Um, oh God, guys, I'm obsessed with these. They're the uh, Just Beats chips. I'm like, feel like I probably sound like a broken record with these, but they're amazing and so good. They're Whole30 approved. Have some cauliflower. They didn't have any like regular cauliflower so I thought I could just roast this it's a little bit easier than um, cutting up your own because that takes up a lot of time and I do it every week love cauliflower uh, I got five of these uh, just pitted just a handful of olives pitted um, manzanilla olives so I'll grab one of these right now so I'll take it back to the office because I haven't had lunch yet I also really like pistachios for snacks these are the dry roasted and unsalted ones Whole30 approved as well. I got an avocado. I got some lemons for my lemon water in the morning. I got some seasoning salt, all-purpose savory seasoning. I'm like the seasoning queen lately. I got some mini potatoes. Um, these are also Whole30 approved. I cut them up and do like olive oil, garlic powder, lemon pepper, and like cut up garlic, and they taste so good, like garlicky potatoes. And then some Greek Kalamata olives. I go through like a, one of those olive containers seriously every week. They're so good and I put them in salads or just have them alongside like whatever I'm eating. I have two shishito pepper bags because I'm obsessed. Some broccolini, some shiitake mushrooms, some cremony mushrooms, some white button mushrooms because I love mushrooms. Uh, I got another organic rice cauliflower. And then I got some uh, artichoke parts. I like putting these with chicken or the cauliflower. This I haven't tried yet. It's not necessarily Whole30 approved, but it is gluten free. So I thought I could keep this on hand in case I ever wanted to make like a pizza. I'm not like officially on Whole30 anymore, but I'm still trying to do like no grains, no dairy, that type of stuff. Um, but for this one, it has cauliflower, corn flour, so it does have um, like starch or whatever. Water, corn starch, potato starch, olive oil, and salt may contain traces of milk. So this isn't necessarily something I'll buy every week and eat it, but I've been craving like some sort of pizza style thing. So I guess I'll figure out what I exactly want to do with this. I was thinking I could do like Brussels sprouts or something on top of this. I don't know. We need to figure it out. And then I have some shaved Brussels and tahini. So that's it, guys. That is what I have. That's what I got at Trader Joe's. Um, that will keep me definitely uh, through the week. I'm only here through Thursday, so I'm gonna try to just cook every single day, lunch and breakfast, lunch and breakfast, lunch and dinner and breakfast at home. Um, so I've been sticking to for breakfast the Bulletproof Coffee recipe. I did talk about that earlier. Um, I did do have my recipe in a video. I do use um, KGMTL slash Ali Sub Dallas's recipe for bulletproof coffee and I really like it that's all I've had and it's like three o'clock and I'm still like not hungry and I'm like feeling with a lot of energy and feeling good but I know I'm gonna need to eat something so I don't have time to like make lunch right now but I'm going to uh, probably stop by and get a salad at like Dina DeLuca or something and then um, just have a salad yummy salad with olive oil and vinegar and like a salmon or chicken or something hey guys so I'm ending out the weekend vlog it is Tuesday and sorry, I don't really remember exactly what I vlogged uh, thoroughly yesterday. So I think I showed you guys 
Trader Joe's haul. The sweaters I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it is unfortunately one of those things that is sold out, but if you guys do see it in stock, grab it. I'm literally kicking myself for not ordering it in every single color. It is so cute, so soft. I'm obsessed with it. Um, my office is really cold, so that's why I wear like that's why I'm wearing a sweater. So I'm wearing these white pants by Massimo Dutti, um, and then my Tory Burch wedges and my gorgeous All Saints tote. So um, I will show you guys, I'll link the latest uh, Nordstrom anniversary haul video down below because I did two. Uh, I'm crazy, sorry, I don't know why I can't see myself. I think I'm just wearing two high heels today. Um, so that is what my outfit looks like today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back to weekend vlogging this weekend. Um, I'm doing a July favorites today, so stay tuned for lots more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you and hope you're all having a great week. Bye.